Hi, welcome to another two minute tip. A few people recently have asked me about warm up exercise or finger stretching exercises, things to get your hands moving, doing the things that we're gonna be asking them to do when we're playing music. So I'm gonna do a close up for this one. I'm gonna go through a few little warm up exercises that you can try. For the first one, we're going to use all four fingers and you're going to start, just start at the first fret for now, but you can do these at any fret. Start on your G string and play the first fret with your first finger, the second fret with your second finger, the third fret with your third finger, and the fourth fret with your fourth finger. But don't take off the finger that you had down before, because that's no good for playing music. with too much waving around of our fingers. So what we do is we add a finger, one fret at a time, and then when we get to the top, we take them off. And you can do it on any string. And any fret. Here's another more complicated one based on that, that's gonna move across the strings. We start the same way, but instead of going straight back down the same string, we go back down and move across the strings. So once we've got to our little finger, our ring finger goes to the third fret, but one string closer to the floor. And then our second finger, one string closer to the floor again, and then our first finger ends up on the first string. And then we can climb up that string, and then we go back down, ring finger, third fret on the second string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, and back to where we started. So we make a kind of X shape. Across the strings, up the top string, and back down again. It doesn't sound very nice. But it's a really good little warm-up exercise. Here's a good one for finger independence as well. Pick anywhere on the neck where you can comfortably put down four fingers, each one in a fret on the same string, doesn't matter which string. And then all you do is this, you lift up your index finger and you put it down again. You lift up your second finger and you put it down again. You lift up your ring finger and you put it down again. You lift up your little finger and you put it down again. And then you see if you can do odd combinations like little finger, second finger, ring finger, first finger. And challenge yourself to do different patterns. And this is good at getting finger independence as well as building up your strength. Now, of course, when you're doing these, Number one rule is, if it hurts, stop. And when you're doing them, make sure you have good left hand form. Relax, sit up straight, let your shoulders fall back, put the thumb on the back of the neck, and most of these exercises then should be nice and relaxed. There shouldn't be any tension or any hurting at all. So take care while you do it, and I hope these help, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.